Hi. Good morning. We are happy you could make it. In this session of Echoes of Enlightenment we have a study with Jean-Jacques Rousseau and his Baroque literature here at Burke Mountain Optional University. Come along with us. 13th Literary Figure. From, Geneva. Switzerland. A study with Jean-Jacques Rousseau. June 28, 1712 to July 2, 1778. With the scientific and industrial revolutions broadening horizons the whole of Europe was alive with what we call, the Enlightenment, when for all we knew, it may have been better called an uncomprehending time. Though in the 6th century Saint Melaine, Bishop of Rennes, said, I'll fo fair law pakes on tre chrétiens, outside communes or local jurisdiction throughout Western Europe only the strong survived, but when? Come with us in tracking time as backpacking through Western Europe we begin with the fall of the Emirate of Granada in 1492. The Crusades continued as feudal strategery outside communes scattered throughout the countryside. Traveling in companies of 12 like juries, football teams from Lombardy or under one. A sergeant, two. His corporal and three. Ten privates equaling 12, no return was assured. How many Johns, Jeans, Jacks, Jacques, James, Marks, Marcus, Marcus, and etc. would not return after duty? Marching after plowing and planting most only saw back shots and four shots in fathers and sons and no sense of time outside its relativity. From Granada we travel to the Marca Hispania and Catalonian county of Rusilla where after the Treaty of the Pyrenees on November 7 of 1659, French influence replaced Catalonian nobility in Perpignan, Rusilla's capital. Outside the capital remained distinctly Catalonian. The retreat went from there northwest to Chateaux de Rousseau in Toulouse, the province of Languedoc's capital, northeasterly through to Chateaux in Lyon, but ending in Geneva by 1712 it also began again, when? We backpack with Jean-Jacques Rousseau, born and raised in Geneva, Switzerland by way of Roussillon, more than a watchmaker, in Western Europe tracking time re-emphasizing Baroque literature, but when? Since the Edict of Fontainebleau Huguenots took up residence in Geneva where 27 years after Rousseau being born, baptized in six days on July 4th, losses his mother three days later and the first of my misfortunes, he'd say, began. Saint Pierre Cathedral of Geneva became Protestant under John Calvin's spiritual guidance by 1541, and Rousseau's maternal grandfather was a Calvinist minister. Consequently, there they maintained upper middle class, L.E. Moyen order, status. His father, Isaac, was a watchmaker who befalling misfortune wouldn't sew the son's Rousseau name in Geneva. I mentioned that to say Rousseau could vote which seems small today but was quite the status then. More importantly below Saint Pierre is an Alabragian 1st century BC tomb resting proving Galician primogeniture. With little formal education, young Rousseau would follow his father's profession where location made his watches Swiss. Interaction with intelligentsia of the L.E. Moyen order was apparently learning well enough for us to remember him today. We'll compare Roussillon, the present Pyrenees Orientals, to area around the Lancastrian hump, the Carboniferous hill of sandstone named Hamilton east of the Pennines by where Pendle Hill north of the borough of Rossendale stands, later. In 1549 Jean Jacques' ancestor five generations prior, Didier Rousseau, was persecuted by French Catholics for selling books likely Protestant in nature where from Roussillon escaping to Geneva became necessary. So, backpacking through Western Europe we ask, when? Technically, this field trip is a research mission where, if we are not in omnia paratus, prepared for all things, with Carlo or prepared to lose, we ought to donate our free tickets to someone else. So, from the Strait of Gibraltar through Spain, Septimania, Occitanie to Lyon and up to Geneva a watchmaker from Geneva stopped time through Baroque literature. Considering how we see Burke Mountain Optional University, Lyon, its astronomical clock, the pendulum, and where somewhere in the catacombs of space and time, the noble native in Rousseau began to growl and even roar as a native noble. We call the same land by different names depending on its inhabitants where only through agreements with others did Jean Jacques see private property possible. We see lines between France, Spain, Germany, and etc. now that just weren't as stable then, but with so many more kingdoms and too much land for one to control it all Rousseau made the pen his sword. In 1755, Discourse on Inequality, Rousseau promotes private property as the source of human inequality. Kingdoms sprouted from most every fatherless child who victorious in battle and home claimed to be autonomous subject only to the pendulum of time and stars above. Like Caesar, many patterned themselves but adverse to Galatians were those Valenkians, west from east, orthodox versus catholic or Peter against Paul where lines got crossed resulting in a state of total war. Peace is something like France, Russia, or any other personal property. It exists only from agreements where the more so is the greater force where peace, France, or Russia may be secured in time. As with Lyon's Fête de Lumière December 8 since 1643, it claims the title Capital of Lights since 1643 only because others agree it's so and proven by the city astronomical clock's pendulum since 1383. The 9-meter high clock whose astrolabe identifies the sun, moon, earth, and other heavenly bodies has since 2013 been inactive which has us wonder why or better yet, when we are. Jean-Jacques Rousseau encouraged to read as a child, as an adult Françoise Louise de Warens and her circle of associates put in his mind the self-expression of ideas through words. Too numerous a few we cover. 
Admitted into El Academy de Dijon, 1750, in 1754 he'd write discourse on inequality competitively for El Academy published in 1755. Julie, or The New Heloise was a sentimental novel wrote in 1761 concerning Heloise d'Argentuil. In 1762 the social contract which theorizes establishment of sovereignty in a community of equals. His treatise Emile, or On Education with a section concerning a Savoyard vicar was banned and burned in Geneva and Paris. His 1770 work, Confessions, was his autobiography, and 1778 before his death he'd finish Reveries of the Solitary Walker ending his literary bulwark. Dying in Dijon, philology certainly played a role. After the Battle of Rosk, West Rosk, in 1382, the Jacques Mart, Bell Striker, an automaton atop Notre Dame de Dijon, was installed by Philip II of Burgundy in 1383 who'd become Count of Flanders in 1384 to count time. At Port Guillaume the University of Dijon was founded in 1722 by Louis XV. In Dijon, Jean, the Jacques Mart counts time since Rosk. That concludes all the information we have for you this time. Our last session is coming in the next episode where we have a study with Immanuel Kant. We hope to see you there. Remember to drive safe and buckle up. It's the law. Thank you for time and consideration.